in 2008, our camera crews came here to Gordon Wilson Hall, home of the theater and dance department, to film a documentary about the theater department. We chose the theater department because of a unique social condition that arises. They not only spend 10 hours a day with each other, but must also live with each other. They work, eat, study, sing, dance, act, perform in shows, take classes. All will have them to survive with each other. While filming, we stumbled upon an event that would affect not just this historic building on the top of the hill, but would also affect the entire campus of Western Kentucky University. What started out as a single water fountain breaking down will leave scars on this campus for years to come. Here is the culprit, a single water fountain on the third floor of Gordon Wilson Hall. We interviewed Will Meredith about this situation. The, wa the water fountain? That one? That doesn't work? Oh wow. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that would be kind of a big deal. I mean, we've got running water in the sinks, but I mean, no one wants to drink out of that. Wait. Do so you mean it, really, it doesn't work at all? Hold on. Guys, did you know this water fountain doesn't work? No. Is it just an Huh? No, like it doesn't work. Wow. Um, so yeah, I guess it's going to take some getting used to, but I mean, they'll fix it. They, they take care of these things pretty fast up here. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. We'll give it a couple of days. Um, it's day three now, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little surprised at how much this has affected everyone. Um, you would think just a, a regular old water fountain on the third floor of Gordon Wilson would just, you know, it, it goes out, oh, everyone just goes on with their lives like normal, but no. No. This is huge. This is a big deal. And nobody else seems to notice or care. Nobody else seems to be doing anything about this. Am I the only one here? Am I the only one? That was the last time Will Meredith was seen saying. like not even like having a water fountain man I mean, you, you just walk up and down that hill so much and then you get up here and you're like you want your water because you've been hot and exhausted and then you can't get your water because there's no water fountain and it's just really really upsetting and no one understands exactly what is going on and it's just completely unfair. <laughs> the water fountain was not only having adverse effects on Will Meredith but the rest of the theater and dance department. One of the things that cannot be explained is how this water has had such an effect to cause total mayhem to go through an entire building in just a few short days. The water fountain was also having adverse effects on the faculty. So I'm not so worried about there being a broken water fountain because I have water. Um, I have this water delivered I feel very strongly about this water. It's pure, it's clean, it's mine. And I don't plan on sharing it with anybody else. See, it has this really cool pump thing, and then you, you take your cup, and then you pump the water. <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> The water fountain was not only having adverse effects on Professor Moore, but also on Dr. David Young, the department head. It's all gone to hell. The drinking fountain doesn't work. Will Meredith is really scaring me. God help us all.
going nuts here. People are going insane. We're back to our primal instincts here. I mean, we're, I think Will just killed someone. I don't know what, what's going on. We need water right now. I mean, we pay good tuition to go here. It's going up. What the is, what is going on? Yeah. What?